Okay, before you start glazing, you're going to need to get a couple of things together. First of all, you need a bucket with some water. You want to get a couple of sponges in this bucket. Start off with nice clean water. Secondly, you're going to need glaze tongs. These are made to hold a pot where there's not very much touching the pot. And that's important because it's not going to leave us a big space without glaze on your pot. And that's for dipping. An industrial sized spoon. You want to have a couple of these, maybe several, depending on how many different kinds of glaze you have. This is very important. If you want to do any kind of dripping decoration, the old style Tupperware egg separators work fantastically. They're kind of hard to come by. You might be able to find them on eBay. You might find one in your own drawer from years ago. They've changed the style now, so you can't buy them brand new. Any kind of funnel will work, especially if it has a handle. It's going to be a lot easier to use. You also want to have a nice, big, thick brush. This is really good for using with glaze. And perhaps the most important tool of all when you're glazing, this is the hydrometer. This tool is used to measure the specific gravity of your glaze. That is the amount of water in your glaze. You need your glaze to be at the same specific gravity every time you use it in order to achieve consistent results. And this tool will show you how to do that. Now I'm going to show you how to wax your pots in preparation for glazing.